Hello, my name is Jonathan Bokes of Darkling Room. I am the writer and creator of Incubus, a ghost hunter's tale. So why a quite drab small house for a ghost hunting adventure? Well, it's a location that the uh, we've been called to a few times over the years, probably over about 20 years actually, uh, with stories about the place actually going back a lot before that from some of the older people who live in the same area of London. They, uh, they've they always said that the house had a bad atmosphere. No one particularly wanted to live here. And each time someone buys it or tries to do it up, basically they encounter the same problem, so which is why we always end up being the ones that are called in. So it actually makes a really good environment, given its genuine status, for this kind of ghost hunting game, which as you can see is based on 360 captures at the actual environment. You can switch the torch off if you want, if you want to freak yourself out. Hello. And I thought I'd just give you a quick look at the other ghost hunting gadgets you'll be looking uh, using while you explore the house. All right, so good old trusty EMF. EMF is always good for pinpointing regular energy sources like light switches, plug sockets, that kind of thing. So then anything else you encounter, basically if that EMF goes off, especially if it's either moving or comes and goes has to be paranormal or at least unexplainable a good place actually in this house for emf hits was always on these stairs uh, lots of people have felt one of our ghost types here actually which is what i'm calling a pusher which is you get a kind of either a rasping noise in your ear or a breath and before you know it you know you've taken a little bit of a tumble down the stairs uh, one particular owner was actually very seriously injured with a couple of broken ribs and spent quite a little bit of time in a hospital in Hackney and then promptly sold the house, obviously. Not picking up much in the way of EMFs, which is what brings me around to where are the ghosts and how do they work? Well, they've all got quite a lot of AI, so phenomena will come and go. Whoop, as you can see, use the gadgets regularly to see things that the eye cannot. And then you've obviously got the ghost that you can provoke. You know, call out to them. See if you get a response. Bangs, taps, door slamming. These are all things basically that were encountered actually in the house. During some of our investigations. Which I shall probably insert a few photographs of right now. Conducted some experiments. Bev, the doll, uh, she's a regular at ghost seances and uh, vigils. Yeah, and as you can see, there's very much an element of uh, life imitating art, imitating life going on a little bit. Wandering the house with a ghost box, for example, calling out to the spirits. Watching. Ghosts of Hackney. Hang on the floor. Oh, see, very unpredictable. Which also brings me around to yeah, how is this play? How does it work? Basically, the house is laid out in a in the same form as it actually is in reality. So, as you can see here, bottom part of the house, the ground floor, up to the middle floor, and there up to the top floor which is where I'm going now. And all of those orange blocks are basically ghosts that are active and at any point could communicate with us. And why? Because it is a puzzle game. We are actually uh, entering any findings that we find on our map. So for example, I've seen some wall scroll I think that was in the living room. Ooh, what was that?
so yeah use each one of the gadgets have a really good look around make sure you try and interact with the ghosts a little bit if you feel their presence somewhere it's a good idea to try and kind of nurture that and also look at the night vision uh, CCTV because obviously it gives you eyes where you cannot be at that particular moment but for now ghost hunters I represent Incubus a ghost hunting tale by Jonathan Bokes and Darkling Room and I shall see you in E9 which is in London's East End bit of a change of scenery for me and maybe you too but keep an open mind you never know what to expect.